see there's a cardboard tray inside holding the plastic tray which contains the figure. And uh, I think I might try to take it out of the tray, see if it takes too long. The uh, twist size, sorry. It's the figure itself. See that? Comes with a uh, yeah. It comes with a steel base. Well, not actually steel. Steel looking plastic base, which I I do think it looks looks very nice. And uh, I do like the inside of the box, how they designed it. Like a uh, urban. There's my phone again. Uh, urban sort of street with the phrase "Who watches the Watchmen?" There again. Let's see, yeah, I think I'll try to take the figure out here from the tray. You can see the. Uh, not sure what this is down here, but these two appear to be pegs for the stand for the figure to stand on. And up here, you can see the two guns that the comedian carries, which feature the custom hand grip with the smiley on there. You can see that there. He also has the smiley logo up here, which is a bad thing. Let's see. Yeah, let's see if I can twist that. This size is very confusing. There we go. First twist side. You don't have to bear with me. These uh, twist sides always give me a, a headache. Take a while to take off. Bear with me here. Right. Okay. So here's the, uh, oh, let's see. Okay, the legs do appear to be, let's see if I can count how many points of articulation there are. Let's see, there's one at the neck, the shoulder pads can move pretty easy. One at the shoulders, or two at the shoulders, sorry. So three, two at the el one at the elbow, four, Five for the other elbow, one for the wrist, it turns there, and here, that's seven. One for each leg that attaches to the hip, that's nine. Two for the knees, that's eleven, and two for the calves, I guess you could say. So that's total of a total of thirteen points of articulation for this figure, which I think is very good. There are a lot of action figures out there that out there that don't feature much articulation at all, which sort of eliminates the purpose of action figure, you know? Let's see if I can stand there. And uh yeah, the two let's see let me take out these two guns. I'm just going to take out one one gun right now. As you can see, yeah, it's just a little... I do like the paint job on this, uh, and the sculpting as well on this figure. It looks it's very nice. And I like how up here they add a little 
little touches to make it look like it's metal, but it's not, it's plastic. And uh, the gun just simply attaches to the figure's hand, which is feels like a softer plastic or even a rubber, which is, this, there goes my phone again, and uh, which is very good for proposing weapons and things in their hands. So you just kind of put the gun in there. To and hold it in there. Yeah, so the gun just kind of goes in here like that. I think it looks very nice. And also, it features two holsters on each leg, which feel like they're made of rubber, and you can place the gun inside there. The holster looks very nice. And, uh, stands on there. I'm not going to bother to take out those display stand peg things for the feet it looks very kind of too lazy for that but other than that I do like the figure it's very nice and uh, I would recommend any actually not any I haven't tried any other ones this is the only Watchmen figure that I that I owned but I would recommend at least this figure to anyone who likes Watchmen the movie the comic or just action figures in general it's very it's very good so that was my unboxing for the Watchmen Comedian DC Direct Collector Action Figure, and uh, that's it. So please subscribe to The Thirsty Robot for more tech news, reviews, and unboxings, and uh, yeah, I'll see you later.